Okay guys, we're here at Slon the Rook, and something might seem a little off. Well, I found out that uh, when I went to the... What is it called? The tavern? The whatever, the part, Patty's party making place? We had young Bianca hanging out there, and I was like, Hmm, well it's not our Bianca, but it's uh, a Bianca. It's a weaker version of Bianca, so why not bring her along? And so, that's what I'm going to do for while Bianca's on vacation, uh, you know, being stone, a stone statue here. So, I don't think it's going to be out of, I don't think it's too out of, uh, out of the spirit of the challenge run. I leveled her up alone uh, on her own just to match at least Nera's level, and then went from there. I'll probably do something the same for regular Bianca just to get her caught up, but just so you know, she is definitely a nerfed version of regular Bianca because she doesn't learn as many spells. And I think she has different stats than adult Bianca, too. But why don't we look that over? First off, here's our main people. We have Deborah here. She's going to be a bit of a more of a tank for us because of her HP. She's got decent defense, too. But, yeah, you're going to see in a moment that uh, Nera's got much more thanks to the equipment that she has. But still, we, we kind of need it since she's the supportive mage healer, so we kind of want that. And as for Bianca, Bianca's only... Her stats are much less. Young Bianca here. Like, she she can equip exactly the same thing as regular Bianca, including some things that you really don't want her to be wearing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, she can also... Uh, but she just doesn't learn any new spells. These are all of the spells she will learn, ever. She only gets the basics. So the only thing that's really somewhat useful at this point is Kasap and Dazzle, and not for this fight, because he's immune to both. So she's going to be mostly an item master for this, but at least she can contribute in a way. <laughs> it's sort of like, hey, so my, part of my soul got, you know, uh, sorry, my body's encaptured in stone, and now I'm a young girl. Uh, and I don't have all my powers, but I'm here to help still. <laughs> uh, for everyone else, here's our current spells learned, just so you can see them. I think Deborah's all done. Nero's got a couple still. And now for item setup. So for Deborah, I got her on the Miracle Sword. We got one after completing Fairy Lay. And it's the same exact attack as the Gringham Whip, and I figured this is better to be put on her than uh, having to give her the whip and then Nera and Bianca go with something lesser. It just makes more sense, in my opinion. So yeah, that's why we're doing that. But also, you know, uh, just something else to note. The Diamond Achilles or the Falcon Sword, she can equip both of them, but they don't match the same attack power as the Miracle Sword, at least when you can't Kasap something. And in this fight, this guy is immune to Kasap, so you're better off with the Miracle Sword, because when you have Oomph in play, this just does so much more. Oh, and Falcon Knife Earrings, it's stronger than that, too. So, just something to keep in mind. But I will be testing all these things to see what is the most optimal for each fight. When I find one that has a boss with zero defense, I will switch around stuff. But I have her also on the Flowing Dress, the Wedding Veil for the extra defense boost, the Floral, pe floral Parasol, of course, and the Circle of Water for a little bit of extra protection against some magics, even though it's not needed for this fight. One Yig Leaf, because you never know, and the rest is for mostly for travel. But the Fairy Foils are rather important for this fight, just to keep our defenses up. For for uh, Nera, yes, yeah, she's got a fairy, basically the same thing. Fairy Foil, one Yig Leaf, and a Diamond for Thwack issues. Elfin Charms on her, because I consider her the, our healer for the, this and all. Which is why I gave her the Princess Robe as well. And the Gringham Whip to help her attack better. Scale Shield's the best shield's gonna get. We picked up a Hermes hat at Fairy Lay, so I gave it to her as well. Elfin Charma was in Fairy Lay. Uh, I think it was one of the caves that you can go into in the TNT board. <laughs> That's what I mean by Fairy Lay, by the way. And she's got the Meteorite Bracer, so she can do emergency healing if need be. As for Bianca, she's really not going to be attacking, but she's got the Siren Sword and Flowing Dress. She's got the happy hat because it's the best defense we can give her at the moment. Then I feel weird about giving her the wedding veil because she can equip it, but that feels weird. So I figured, you know what? Put it, she's in the back. She doesn't need as much defense. The happy hat's probably better on Nera, though, when traveling around. I'm not going to lie. But for the fight, give her a little extra defense. And leather shield, uh, only because I was too lazy to get a skill shield. I'll get that at some point. Who knows? 
but fairy foil will be needed as well just to get the defense up diamond and yiggly for emergencies but she's going to be playing healer with the staff of salvation and uh the other things are just for other opportunities uh for during the when we fight wild encounters she's basically an item mage at this point but all right this should not be too bad now another way i could have done this for slon is grabbed the terror crow but i didn't feel like grabbing it because i already have well i already have the saber cat in my in uh, the what do you call it monster pen and i don't want to have to deal with possible bugs happening if i try to do the quest again and you need to do that in order to get the terror crow but anyway it's boss time against slon all right uh the ter again the terror crow would be a good way to stun lock him if you really wanted to but anyway everyone's got a fairy foil up ouch okay again we're gonna fairy foil you're gonna mid heal because you're fast and you're gonna fairy foil even if after you're all done fairy foiling it's really not enough okay uh one more you need this is your second and you need to heal Deborah. Okay, she's going to go ahead and oomph up. You can fairy foil up one more, and you can fairy foil up one more. Yeah, it's honestly necessary. And now at this point, we're putting her on focus on healing because she I don't need to really do anything direct with her now. And she's going to attack, and she's okay, so she's going to frizzle. So the plan here is let Bianca do the Staff of Salvationing. She's a little slower than Slon every now and then. So you got to watch for that. When it, there's an emergency, that's when you have never heal. But otherwise, this is the plan. Frizzle and attack. And also, thanks to the Miracle Sword, uh, Deborah has some, uh, what do you call it, self-preservation here. Shame she can't wear the, uh, the sacred armor, but that's okay. But yeah, this is just the fight. It, Slon's never really a hard time. And again, I could have cheesed this even more. But I figured, eh, show up some sort of strategy going on here. Yeah, it's a shame we can't Kassap, but that's okay. I don't know how we're going to handle... Oh, she actually attacked. Jeez. Uh, I don't know how we're going to handle Lodja yet, but we'll have to see. Because he's going to be fast and going to be doing too much different attacks on us. The good thing is all these women are very uh, very resistant to breath, at least with uh, the equipment they have. Specifically Nera. But Kafrizzle is another thing. I gotta see the damage ratio on that. If when we get hit by it, anyway. But yeah, also having Bianca do this will free up Nera's MP to do this, at least. I'll probably throw in some Elfin Elixirs in future fights just to so Nera can still keep her MP in place. It's been a while since I've had to really worry about Elven Elixirs. But anyway, that's it for Slon, and I shall see you over at Lodja next, though we might be at different levels, I'm not sure yet. Okay, we're here at Lodja, and this can get a little bit messy. It it can work, but it depends a little bit of luck here and there. One thing for sure is do not bring a Zenithian sword here. I thought I could mess with his AI by disruptive waving him, but then I forgot that he has also, he can be sapped. And if you disruptive wave him, he loses that sap as well. So it's, you're better off just leaving him to his own bullshit really. But there's definitely a setup you have to do. Uh, we did level up once with Nera, but there's really not much change. Don't worry about that. And uh, for our items, we did mix mix things around a little bit. Uh, so Deborah's got the Miracle Sword still and the Flowing Dress, all that fun stuff. Everyone's going to be using their Fairy Foil. And I chugged in those Yig Leaves just in case. And one Elfin Elixir because Nera's going to be casting a lot. Deborah's going to be casting a little bit too to set up, but that's mainly it. She's mostly going to be uh, attacking here. For Nera... Here's all her same gear here, except I put on the happy hat just to restore some MP. And then I was like, you know what? She deserves more defense than Bianca anyway. Bianca is just the backup anyway, so I'm leaving it there. And she's also got the Yigdu for just in case everyone's in a bit of tr trouble, but hopefully we shouldn't get to that. As for Bianca herself, uh, she'll be also fairy foiling and using the Staff of Salvation as necessary. 
Also, yeah, I could have her equip the Fairy Foil instead of the Siren Sword, but I'm like, eh. I liked it for the random confusion during battles. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is for Nera, I switched off the Princess Robe to the Flowing Dress because this will help a little bit more with Kafrizzle than the Princess Dress, I think. At least that's what it looks like. The Flame Breath now hits harder, unfortunately, but at least she's got some resistance to that, uh, to that Kafrizzle. Kafrizzle can... If he decides to double Kafrizzle, it's lights out, basically. And I figured, you know what? Let's do Flowing Dress for safety. And so that's what we're doing here. Okay, again, for Bianca, though, same, very similar. Bunch of Yig Leaves, one Elfin Elixir, and just basically uh, the, mostly the same gear. So that's it for setup. Let's do this. And there's a very particular way I have to do some setup. Anyway... But let's put our strength to a test. For boss time against Bishop Blodja. First things first, Debora is going to Fairy Foil. You are going to Fairy Foil. And Bianca's going to Fairy Foil. This will hurt for a little bit. All right. Uh, Debora's going to keep Fairy Foiling, and these two are going to heal themselves because it's better if they do so, just in case. Okay, that hurt. Do one more Fairy Foil to get yourself set up. You're going to mid-heal, and you're going to get yourself into second stage of Fairy Foil. Ow. Okay. Next up, you are going... Now that she's fully Fairy Foiled, she's going to use Bounce on Nera. Nera's the only one allowed to get Bounce, because otherwise Nera can't use mid-heal on them. But Bianca can heal, so... But anyway, you're going to put Bounce... You're going to heal yourself, and you're going to finish off that fairy boy. I think that's what you have left, right? Ow. Okay. And now we switch you to using focus on healing. Now you are going to oomph up yourself. You would need to mid-heal. There we go. Good. I don't remember if Bounce is up right now. Oh, it is now. You can attack, I guess, for now, because I can't Kassap. You are... Actually, you know what? No. You're going to go ahead and throw an oomph over it. No, no, she's got Bounce on her. So, no. Never mind. You're going to attack. You can't Fairy Foil, because you have to heal, and Bianca's going to have to heal herself. I don't understand why they did that so little damage there, but okay. At this point, I'm a little annoyed, so you're going to attack, and we're just going to Yigdu. Just get it all up. Alright. Still can't do much about it, but okay, you can Fairy Foil. You have one more left. Alright, Bounce is off, so you are going to Kasap. I need you to do the fast mid-heal. Thank you. You're okay for the most part. You need to attack because that will heal you, and you're going to heal her. Oh, Nera's bounce is down. Okay, she went dead, and... Oh, I think this might be a dead end here, guys. Mm. Heal Nera. Revive Nera. Okay. You're going to revive Bianca. Yeah, this is what I mean by bad luck. I had a run where this did not, none of this mattered, but still, ugh. Okay, we, ha we still have you up, at least. At this point, yeah, attack to get your health up, and you got a mid-heal, but now we're, we're down those buffs. Okay, you can now set up a bounce on Nera. And you need to... Mm, damn it. Follow orders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, set up the bounce. And fairy foil. And fairy foil. Alright. It just redirects the Kafrizzle away from Nera, at least. Alright. You can attack. I'm... I'm debating. Uh, I don't remember if it's up or not. What is something that wouldn't be harmful if it bounces back? Whack would be bad. Yeah, you, all of them are bad. So you really can't do much for that. Normally, I would have her Kasap. Mm, you know what? I'm going to try it anyway, because I can't, I can't keep track. 
and you know what? Heal yourself, because I expect it. Okay, that sucks. Oh, that was good timing. This sucks. <laughs> Deborah might go down, and I really don't want her to, so I'm going to actually have her defend. You have to heal yourself, and you need to heal Deborah. Okay. That kind of worked. Now you can... He didn't bounce back again, so you can use Kasap. Try to use Kasap. You need to mid-heal her, and you need to heal the... Nero. Ah, resisted. You gotta attack. You need to heal. You need to heal. Okay. If we can get that one more Kasap in, that'd be wonderful. Because then she's doing more, a little bit more damage. Unless I already got two in, I... I it's easy to lose track of these guys, so apologies if I'm doing that. And you can heal yourself. Okay. All right, I'm going to assume that it's already in then. So why don't you heal yourself? You heal Deborah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you mid-heal her, and you go Fairy Foil again. Bounces off. Of course you do that. You're an asshole like that. I'm going to have her try to Kasap again, because just because we can, and because this is already going longer than I wanted it to. Uh, hmm. No. I had to think about that. Sorry. Bounce. Heal. Heal. Of course you do that. What a dick. Alright, you gotta keep healing yourself. You need to heal yourself. And bounces up now. I was trying to take advantage of that, but whatever. Okay, you can keep attacking. You keep healing yourself. Nope. You heal Nera. Okay, good. Normally I like Bianca to be self-healing and all that, doing the healings, but ugh. And right now we can't do that. Okay, you're going to... I think you still have one more Fairy Foil to do. I think you're finished with Fairy Foil, so you're going to heal Deborah. Yes, okay. Oh no. You dick! Ugh. This guy is just an asshole right now. Alright, you oomphed your... Did you oomph yourself? I think you did. And you fully did that. Uh, I'm going to have her do the oomph, and you can do the leap. You do want Nero to oomph, by the way. All right. I have to fairy foil yet again. It's fucking annoying. I know, guys. We don't have kabuff, sadly. And I'm going to have you heal yourself. Okay, that sucks. It's down. Good. I'm actually going to risk the Kasap. Yeah, you risk the Kasap. Once we get that on, we don't have to worry about reapplying it, at least. You can mid-heal, and you're going to heal Nera, just to keep her topped off. Ugh. And there goes the bounce opportunity. you are got to... Debating, hold on. Now, you can attack, you're going to oomph her, and you're going to heal. There we go. We still want that other Kasap in. Damn it. I want to use I'm trying to use uh, Deborah's MP more. Because as you can see, Nera is running low. Alright, he still has his annoying thing up right now. Bounce up, so I can't do much there. I could do an elfin elixir. I mm. You know what? Let's find out if it's still up. I think it is. I could use a frizz that way, but. Sorry, I'm having a hard time here. Let's defend. Just be safe. Okay, not so bad. You can attack. I am going to actually have you attack instead, and you're going to heal heal instead. There we go. Good. And you got your damage in. I couldn't see if, uh, if Bounce went down yet or not. So I'm going to test it out with Frizz. It is still up. Okay. Good. All right. Jeez. Yeah, you guys attack, and you need to heal. Oh. Mm. Bounces down. Okay. 
I'm gonna have you attack. I'm gonna have you... Debating here. I'm gonna have her heal Bianca, because Bianca's gonna kiss out. Use her MP. A little. Damn it! That's obnoxious. You two attack, and you go on healing duty. They should be doing much more damage, damn it. Uh, you can't attack. You have to heal. At this point, then, I should put her on focus on healing, because I don't really have much else for her to do. I figured that would happen. The problem is her speed. It's weird. Okay. All right. Yeah, you had to do that. That makes sense. Bounce is not... Oh, you... I hate that. Okay. We have to do some annoyingness here. You're gonna Elfin. You cannot heal right now, so you need to... Screw it. You're gonna be the attacker, and you need to heal. Alright, his bounce is down now. So you go ahead and try to get that other Kasap in. You can do the fast mid-heal. And... Hmm. You heal Nera, because she's low. We really want to get that Kasap in. God damn it. There is one more stage. I'm almost positive, unless I miss something here. But anyway, go ahead and do back to focus on healing. You're going to attack, and you are going to bounce yourself. This is taking so much longer than I want, wanted this to. Alright. Attack. Attack. Just, yeah. There! Oh my god. That was a little more obnoxious. I probably should have leveled up more. I'm not going to lie, but oh, damn. <laughs> I can't wait till real Bianca comes in because then we'll have a little bit more access to spells that we need. Eh, yeah, she doesn't get much of stat. I think she has lesser stats too. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure adult Bianca had better strength at, the, at an earlier level than her. But okay, it's done and I never want to see it again. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the next fight, whether it's Bjorn or if I can do it, I'll try to do King Corral and Queen Ferris instead to see if I can get Bianca early. We'll, we'll see.